out of the frying pan into the fire. I hope you've got some fight left in you. Never get tired of scum. On that, we are agreed. We have not lost focus yet. Unprepared. Change of mind. Insolence. That will not be enough to get rid of me. had your chance to escape. Next time, run while you still can.
have spotted enemy reinforcements. They have not lost interest. I'm getting tired of these distractions. Then send them back to Lilith, in ashes. You read my mind. Only the ashes <laughs> that was something. Now that was something. We've done it. Excellent work. Feel that page twisting inside me, you know? Who's to say I won't? You are not Blaze, Robbie. But I led you straight to him. Played right into his little game. If Eliana hadn't been there. But I was there, Robbie. As you are always for me. It is time we go home. I'm gonna find him. Blaze. And when I do. Hello, my sweet girl. Aw, who is a good kitty? You are a cute little shapeshifter, are you not? Perhaps Ileana mistrusts me because my facial hair resembles Mephisto's. Robbie's hero worship is among my chief worries these days. Despite my skepticism, you managed to retrieve the parchment. The parchment of power is here, within the walls of the Abbey. I assume you overheard Robbie or someone talking about it. No. I could feel its power the moment it arrived. It was a numbing dread, the likes of which I have never experienced before. I worry for Robbie. Do you not think he can handle it? Sarah and Strange probably won't bring this up around him, but that parchment is not just random Latin phrases. It contains the words of Cathon himself. They are as dangerous as nuclear weapons. Do not worry. It is better to have the parchment protected here with Robbie in the Abbey than out there in the world. Maybe you're right. But knowing it's so close to us still makes me uneasy. The page will not be with Robbie long. If Stark's plan succeeds, we will be rid of Cathan's only toehold in our world. Perhaps. The parchment is just one page of many, all carrying Cathan's vile message. Those pages were scattered across the globe. The hope was that they would remain hidden forever. Yet man, in his infinite wisdom, decided to collect them and bind them into the Darkhold. And now Robbie has the final page. I pray he is strong enough to carry it. Mephisto is no one... Look at me. You've gone through so much, and here I am getting comfort from you like a selfish jerk. Almost as bad as an Avenger. <laughs> You're not that bad, Ilyana, I promise. Liar. I might as well put on a cape and start calling myself doctor. Don't be so hard on yourself. You saw your tormentor today. 
That couldn't have been easy. It's good to have you back, sister. It's good to be back, sister. We'll finish this conversation later. Looks like someone wants to talk to you. She's all yours. I was... Mephisto was behind the Solus? Why did you not tell me, Ileana? Because I didn't know for sure. It was not easy to face him, you know. But the support of my friends, like you, gave me the strength to do it. In a way, I owe him everything. Even though he took everything from me. He made me Dark Child. Gave me the gift of ruling Limbo. And today, I booted him from it. And it wasn't the first time. Have you considered ever resuming your reign as ruler of Limbo? Ruling sounds attractive from afar. You imagine yourself on this giant throne made of a thousand skulls, having servants fulfill your every whim, having power over everything and everyone you see. But alas, that is not the reality. Being in charge is full of administrative work, managing ungrateful minions, making and keeping demonic pacts. It's... boring and arduous. And I don't do boring. I can see that. Besides, what would the Midnight Suns do without me? My place is here, tormenting caretaker and strange. Well, that's enough about Limbo for today. We must look forward to the challenges that lay ahead. Sleep well tonight, Ileana. You deserve it. Good night, Hunter. Johnny Blaze's master plan was to entrust the Parchment of Power to Mephisto. <laughs> Bravo, Ghost Rider. That doesn't sit right with me, Hunter. What? You're surprised Blaze gave up the Parchment of Power? Heard about the Limbo adventure. Why is everyone upset with Blaze? He was just looking out for his own interests. Oh, right, that's not what heroes do. Ileana called Limbo home. With that Mephisto creeper living there? You got to be bored watching me practice defensive roles. Honestly, yes, but it's not like I've got anything else to do. Ileana and Wanda took off to the chapel together. And that bothers you? No, not at all. Why would I care? She can do what she wants. I was gonna practice with Robbie, but he ran off to clean his car with Peter. Uh-oh. Sounds like you're the one who's bothered. Like you said, Robbie can do what he wants. I'm kind of busy right now. Cleaning your car? It's gotta be done. If I don't, no one else will. You were hiding out here from everyone. I know this must be about Blaze, his betrayer. I don't really want to hear his name right now. If there is something you need to get off your chest... You mean like the parchment? No. It's in there pretty snug. I'm doing great otherwise. It's not like any major life role models attempted to sell us out to Mephisto recently. Robbie, I... Thanks for checking on me, Hunter. Later. I just want to be alone right now. Thanks. I see things are going well for you too. Stop being so defensive and listen to us, Robbie. We're just worried about you, that's all. No need to be worried. I got this. 
I don't think you fully understand what you're carrying. The parchment packs a lot of evil. And what? You don't think I can handle it? I'll have you know that you aren't the only one who has a corner on controlling darkness. Just ask Sparky. We're just concerned. Concerned? You're starting to sound an awful lot like caretaker, Nico. Since when did you become such a jerk? Since he started carrying that damn page, that's Why when... Why don't you worry about yourself, Blade? Whatever you say, Robbie. Why don't you go find Peter? Well, maybe I will. I'm out. Well, we tried. The parchment of power is no joke. Then again, neither is Robbie. Let's just hope he's right and he can handle it. <sighs> yeah, let's hope. Something about Jeremiah Kane's statue drew me. Guess it's that old Spirit of Vengeance connection, huh? Like you, Kane carried more burdens than any one man should. Yeah, so he knew how the big honor could also become a curse. Do you feel like you have been cursed? Absolutely. I mean, it's awesome to be one of the Midnight Suns and have the incredible responsibility of carrying the parchment of power. But it also really sucks. As long as you carry the parchment with you, you are the most powerful member of the Midnight Suns. I hope you realize that. Huh. <laughs> Never thought of it that way. It is an awesome responsibility. Yeah, but... Of course, power doesn't do me much good unless I use it, and I doubt that's ever gonna happen. Blaze's betrayal probably soured your outlook. Uh, about that. I keep thinking about what happened back in Limbo. Right before all the fighting broke out, when Blaze told me you were the key to the parchment, the prophecy, all of it, and that if we took you out, the world might survive. Robbie. I, I know what you're gonna say. Don't trust Blaze. I get it, which is why I'm thinking I should read this parchment for myself and find out exactly what caused him to get so worked up about you. If you read it, will it cause you to turn on us, your teammates? What makes you think I will? Do you know what it says? Not specifically. But I know it prompted Johnny Blaze to betray us. And I fear it could cause you to do the same, whether you are aware of it or not. Its power works in mysterious ways. Fine, forget it. I'm not gonna read the page. Happy now? I am relieved, yes. But what are you going to do instead? I'm gonna do what I normally do. Sit and worry. And hope Stark hurries up with whatever he's building in the forge. That may take a while. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. After all this, I better get a statue of my own around here. Tell me you found something good. Let's crunch the numbers. Really good intel here. We've got a lot to go on. Ready for some hero work? Scratch my back. I think I can handle that. This is definitely the coziest war room I've ever been in. Quiet, too. Well met. Are you all right? Why would I not be? We encountered Mephisto. The?
That is all. I should go. <sighs> I am all right, Hunter. No, that is a lie. I am not all right. But you thought to warn me. This I will not forget. Just tell me. I already told you. That was just a bunch of hocus-pocus mumbo-jumbo. Authored by the hand of a corrupted elder god, vile, unspeakable evil power contained within its pages. I get it. The Darkhold is bad. But I'm a scientist. I need facts, examples, highlights, lowlights. Are you really asking me for a book report on the Dark I mean, I could just blast the page to smithereens without knowing the context, but understanding it is so much more interesting. Context or no context, I'm still skeptical that your plan will actually work. Well, okay, then share your deep insights with me, Dr. Spooky. Come on, spill the beans. I have no beans to spill, Tony. I think I need some fresh air. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there, Hunter. I guess you're wondering why Strange and I were getting into it. I saw enough. Uh, he gets so huffy and precious when it comes to his magic stuff. Everything has to be shrouded in mystery, like he's on stage in Vegas or something. I think he's afraid I'm gonna turn around and become an even greater sorcerer than he is. I thought you two had put your rivalry behind you. Are you not supposed to be getting along? I guess you could say we get along like family. That is... Well, in that he's the annoying cousin who comes to visit and then burns weird incense and never leaves. Surely there is a way for you both to work together in harmony. Uh, you'll never catch us in the same barbershop quartet. But, given enough time, I'm sure I can reverse engineer an Elder God's programming language. Sure, you may not be able to understand what I'm saying, but that's not my problem. So, you think the Darkhold is no different from some fabulous bit of technology? Oh, absolutely. And like any other fabulous bit of technology, it's only a matter of time before I figure out how to do what I want to do with it. Every problem has a solution, my resurrected friend. And I'm going to find it. I will have to remember those words. They may need to be engraved on your tombstone. Well, that's pretty grim. Oh, wait. You mean decades from now when I die a happy and content old man? No. Listen, if I do die, the words on my tombstone are gonna be the man who rewrote the Darkhold. For our sakes, I hope you are right. And what about Strange? Are you going to let him sulk? Oh, I'll find Dr. Spooky later and explain my position clearly. Make sure he understands. It might help if you stop calling him Dr. Spooky. Yeah, you're right. I should use his name. Steven Spooky. I give up. Well, don't give up yet. You need to get the research going on the Gamma Accelerator. I've got the pieces and Dad's research, and I'm ready to go. I'm serious about getting the research started. Parchment isn't going to blow itself up. I just hope this is what you were expecting, Hunter. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? Sometimes, I even impress myself. Careful, Hunter. Punches are flying fast around here. I came out here to cool down. Carol kindly suggested I work out my frustrations on the punching bag. Her suggestion was wise. I am afraid I know the source of your frustrations. If you think this source has got salon-sculpted facial hair and an ego the size of Montana, then you are correct. As usual, you have displayed keen wisdom by putting several rooms between yourself and Stark. 
At this point, if I even hear the sound of his feet on the stone, I'll suck it to him, as the kids say these days. Try to maintain that healthy distance. That is all I ask. The problem with Tony is that he's too cavalier. I suppose that attitude has contributed to his success, but he can't do it with the arcane. It's a completely different realm. One that will deal him a brutal defeat if he doesn't change his ways. You do not think he can destroy the Parchment of Power? I don't think he understands just what the page represents. His whole life has been ones and zeros. The forces that shaped the Darkhold were powerful long before numbers or technology. They exist outside of the theory of relativity or quantum mechanics. They are elemental and esoteric as the rules of the dream space. I hope the two of you can reach an understanding. If he wants to work things out, he knows where to find me. Hopefully, <clears throat> my aggressions will have been worked out by then. <clears throat> That'll show him. Everyone knows me as Carol, but... Would you believe the name was Car L? In the Cree language, it means champion. So you could say expectations were high from the very beginning. Tension so thick I could claw it to shreds. Something or someone is going to snap. Did you hear Tony and Strange arguing? Who's next? Parker and Nico? Seen good troops lose their minds not knowing if a tank was going to mortar their bunkers, but seeing seasoned enhanced heroes walking on eggshells is a new kind of unsettling. What, no stars and stripes hoorah pep talk from Captain America? It must be bad. We'd live with the dread, channel the tension. So let's go. Kunis ad sepulchrum, dan hoc in hora, tutta la contra inferna vocat paper potestatum, afferte molum omni noxa, iram e tristis, keep sicu. Maioris angeli, et spiritus rector, custodi per singulos gradas. Agatha, what are you doing? Casting a protection spell over the abbey. Now that we are in possession of the Parchment of Power, we must be vigilant in guarding against its influences. I am afraid a mere protection spell will not be enough to dampen the page's effects. I will have you know, this isn't your run-of-the-mill protection spell, Hunter. Only those who have passed may cast it. But you are not wrong to be skeptical. This spell will only prevent the worst type of harm the parchment can inflict, but can't stop it from making mischief completely. Mischief? What sort of mischief? There's no way of knowing for sure. But if there's one thing I am sure of, it's this. The words etched onto the page were written by Cathan himself. Not even my magic can silence them. They will affect us, if only in whispers. I mean, they're probably affecting us right here, right now, and won't stop, not until Stark finally manages to nuke it from space. I have my doubts the page can be destroyed at all. Don't let doubts get in your way of trying something new. I will take that under advisement. <laughs> well... I should really finish this incantation. The spell cannot be completed without it. I will leave you to it then. Sleep well, Hunter. If you can. Are you 
you finally beginning to understand now? Family protects one another. Family loves one another. Family would do anything to save one another. Is that not what these heroes of yours preach? Then why abandon you at the doorstep of that wretched pretender Mephisto, my precious child? My family saved me. It was the coward Blaze that sold me out. Perhaps. Still, Blaze is no coward. And he is most certainly not a friend to Mephisto. For him to have made such a deal... All the more reason I must have the page. I knew you were going to go there. Hear me, child. Say what you will about Johnny Blaze, but his soul is one of the strongest I have ever encountered. He has carried the parchment for decades without succumbing to its call, battled angels and demons alike, and rattled the thrones of far too many gods. It almost seems like you admire him. I simply state the facts. Now he is free of the page, and another takes on the mantle of its guardian. Ravi. Do you really think he will prevail over the parchment of power? You were right, Mother. I am. Robbie will never be Johnny Blaze. He will become something far greater. I gladly place my fate and that of the world in his hands. My original offer still stands. If you truly value your friend, relieve him of his burden and surrender the parchment to me. Ignore my warning, and Blaze's betrayal will be a fond memory compared to what is coming next. I hope the others slept better than I did. That can't be. I had that dream too. Maybe it was something we ate. Don't you mean someone? Hmm, I don't know. The stinks of a hex or a curse or something. If we all had the same nightmare, does that mean we all share the same subconscious neuroses? God, I hope not. The probability of every single one of us walking the same dream state is a billion trillion to one. It must mean something. Yeah, it means we might want to have a little chat with our friendly neighborhood hunter. Oh, I knew I should have let Mr. Murdoch copyright that for me. I still can't get that image out of my mind. Same here. And that's saying a lot these days. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for this all. There is... the parchment. I knew that page would find a way of messing with our heads. Or maybe it was warning us about you-know-who. Did you have the dream? What dream? I'm here, if you want to talk about it. I'm assuming you had the same dream last night as the rest of us. I am pretty sure I did not. What was it? I'll let Wanda tell you. She's better at communicating those kinds of things. All I can say is, what I saw last night made me worry about you. This is 100% Lilith. She is sowing the seeds of distrust between us by manipulating our dreams. I was just thinking that. I was also thinking it could be the page, messing with our heads. It is possible. The full effects of the parchment of power have gone largely unstudied. And they will remain unstudied. Honestly, I can't wait for it to be destroyed. So, you are not going to read it? Hell no. And not just because I suspect it's giving me bad dreams. 
because I know whatever Blaze read set him off so hard that he betrayed us. Are you afraid of reading the page because you think you would betray us, Robbie? Kinda. Yeah. I do not think you ever could. You were made of stronger stuff than Blaze. Thanks, Hunter. It makes me feel better. But I'm still not chancing it. I think Wanda wants to talk to you. I, I, I should stop monopolizing your time and let her get a word in. Oh, and Hunter? Yes, Robbie? Take care of yourself, okay? Like, really take care. I always do. What is everyone so upset about? A nightmare. We all had the same one last night, and it has unnerved us. Wondering if you had the same one too. Would be weird if you were the only one in the Abbey who didn't. You mean the one about Lilith? Wait, you had a dream about Lilith? Is that not the one you all had? No, Hunter. We had a dream about you. And it was a pretty awful one, too. What? What about me? Let's just say you... Uh... Something threw you above us. Your face twisted in what could only be described as extreme agony. And... That's as far as I want to remember. I don't want to freak you out. I mean... It was just a dream. Right? Something you should know about me. I do not scare easily. We should probably stop talking now. Everyone is staring. They are staring? Yep. They really are frightened, are they not? Hey, if it makes you feel any better, Everyone here is just as afraid of me as they are of you. <laughs>